In this video, we'll talk about the first topic, which is rectilinear propagation of light. So what we want to understand is how the light behaves. So to make it simple, here we have a torch and we are putting the light coming out of the torch on any object. Till the light meets that object, it actually moves in a straight line. So the light coming out of the torch moves in a straight line till it hits the object. When it hits the object, various things happen that we learn during the course. We can observe similar phenomena if you are in a room and you have some window from which the light is coming. You can see that the light, light is coming in a straight line. From this point to this point, from this point to this point, from this point to this point, from this point to this point. Various other examples in daily life, you can see that the light moves in a straight line. Again, in this case, So, based on observation, we can conclude that the light moves in a straight line. So, what will happen if you put an object in front of the light source? So, here is our source from where the light is coming and then we know that the light moves in a straight line. So, it is emitting light in all the directions, right? Now, we have an object here. So, till that this light will move in a straight line all the way to the screen. So we have a screen here. From this side in three dimension like this. Now the light which is somewhere in between which is obstructed by the object will not reach the screen. So which is not reaching the screen because the object will block the light. Hence it will form a shadow of an object of the similar shape of the object. The size of that shadow will depend upon how far the screen is from the object. So, on this distance, yeah. We know all this and we can observe these simple things uh, in daily lives. Now, let's put a bulb. inside a box and close it from all the sides. Now make some holes into the box and we will see that the light is coming out in a straight line through the hole. This light is called rays. It is coming in a straight line from a point source. In fact, there are a lot of rays coming out of it. So we are calling it bundle of rays. In geometrical optics, these are very helpful assumptions for solving and understanding different optical instruments and their behavior and formulating some laws. So observing all these phenomena, we can formulate a concept for us that light travels in a straight line. Light travels in a straight line. And this will formulate our understanding based on what we observe so far. Now let's move to a situation where we have different liquids uh, in a bottle. Uh, we have air, some liquid A. liquid B and in here water so water is let's say up to here okay and then uh, we have air now the question is based on what we observed about the behavior of light if we have a source of light somewhere let's say here at this point 
how the light will travel from this point to this point. Based on what we observed so far, can we say that the light will travel from this point to this point in a straight line? We don't know that. We haven't observed the behavior of light in different mediums, right? Whatever we observed in the above was a homogeneous medium. So there was air all around. There was no other liquid or interface in here, a source of light than air. So we only observed that the light can travel in a straight line in a homogeneous medium. When it meets different medium, we do not know how it will behave. So, for example, these are the different mediums uh, which is becoming denser. We know that if we isolate the slabs, we know that the light will travel in a straight line in this medium, also in this medium, and also in this medium. But we do not know what will happen when the light, while traveling in a straight line, will come and meet a different liquid or a different medium here. We do not know will it travel in a straight line or not. Maybe it will bend in some other direction like this or like this. So it will travel like this or this, not like this. We do not know. So when we go to the next part of the course, we'll see and understand how the light travels in different medium and that observation is called refraction and there are various laws which defines the behavior of light in, in different medium. So we need to revise our concept. So we are going to take this one and say that it is not completely correct and revise our concept by a modified statement which is possibly a correct one. Light travels in a straight line in a homogeneous or uniform medium. So that is possibly the correct way of observing the behavior of light that the medium has to be uniform for the light to travel in a straight line. So this homogeneous part is very important and you should always remember that if the medium is not homogeneous the light will not travel in a straight line.